Some people may have a rash and not know it if it's on the back of their head or other hard to see, high, hard to reach areas. If the infection is not treated right away, the patient may then also progress to having other symptoms like disseminated rashes, joint pain, arthritis, and even neurologic involvement. And they can even have uh, one-sided facial paralysis called Bell's palsy. But I would also say if people present with any type of illness during the spring, summer, or fall months when they've been exposed to ticks, where they may have a rash, a headache, a fever, those could all be signs of tick-borne diseases, Lyme disease and other diseases, and that should prompt them to go to their physician. If a patient lives in an area where there's a lot of Lyme disease, finding a tick that's been attached to them for more than 24 hours, ideally more than 36 hours, that in and of itself is enough to, should prompt them to go to their physician to see if they should get some antibiotics to prevent Lyme disease. I also like oil of lemon eucalyptus, which has been shown by the Environmental Protection Agency to be almost as effective as DEET and smells a little better. Um, also wearing permethrin sprayed on clothing uh, is helpful. That also will repel and even kill ticks. And then just covering up with clothing so that the ticks can't get to your skin. If you tuck your pants into your socks, you're taking away an avenue for ticks to get to your legs to bite you.